This pair might be my favorite pickup of the year. What's up guys? Carl here back again to give you a review of the Jordan 4 Off-White Sale Color. This pair dropped on July 24 internationally, but here in the Philippines, this dropped last October 8 via the Titan uh, On Demand Special Draw uh, with a retail price of 10,195 pesos and the uh, resale prices goes up to 40,000 to 50,000 pesos. I've been a fan of cream colored sneakers recently and um, the first time I saw these pictures online, it really caught my attention and uh, I love how simple but elegant it looks. This is the third silhouette that Jordan Brand and Off-White has collaborated following the footsteps of the Air Jordan 5 Off-White and the Air Jordan 1 Off-White. This Jordan 4 was done in uh, women's sizing so getting big sizes for this will or is very difficult so uh, if you're gonna go in men's sizing I suggest that you go one and a half size up this pair comes in this standard Jordan 4 box of course just with the uh, circular cutouts just like the uh, Jordan 5 off whites so on the, on the top you can see this um, matte black uh, lid with the uh, Jordan or the Jumpman Air Flight logo and the bottom part is this um, cement print and the official colorway is Sail Muslin White Black Inside the box, it comes in this transparent plastic with a Jordan and Off-White branding printed on it Going to the shoe, this is your standard Jordan 4 silhouette and of course it has a touch of the deconstructed look which is Off-White's signature design. So the dominant part of the shoe is made of this soft full grain leather like a new block material. That's the same with the Travis Jordan 4 surrounding the toe box. You can see this Off-White colored ribstock, nylon and if you will look closely, you can see that the edges are frayed giving you that unfinished look. Moving to the middle, you will see this Jordan 4 lace crowns done in this milky semi-translucent plastic. In between the lace crowns is this signature netting done in semi-translucent plastic and underneath it is the signature off-white black print which indicates their headquarters and you will find this in all of their collabs. The, the triangular wing is made of this semi-translucent white material. It is the same color as the lace crowns. The back part of the shoe is made of this cream and soft full grain leather. On the back most part of the shoe, you will see the, the semi-translucent plastic heel cup and pull tab and it, it features the Nike Air branding that is embossed. The default laces that comes with this is a standard flat cream colored lace with the signature shoelaces print at the tip of the laces done in black. It also comes with three extra laces, one pair of black, mint, and same colored lace as well. Under the laces, on the bottom half, you will see the semi-translucent netting and the upper half is made of this full grain cream leather with a square patch of ribbed nylon with the Air Jordan Flight branding under it. You will also notice that the uh, edge of the tongue has this exposed foam giving you that deconstructed look. The interior side of the tongue, you will see the white patch with the Air Jordan branding which is stitched upside down. As an added feature, this will not be called a, an off-white collab if you will not see the um, signature zip tie. If you move the wings back, you will see that the leather layer also pulls back and the heel cup 
is also done in this deconstructed look with the exposed white foams. And we also have this Jordan hang tag done in this translucent white and sail plastic. Moving inside the shoe, it also comes in this same colored uh, insole with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel part. The midsole is made of this polyurethane material. The signature Air lettering can be seen on top of this cream colored midsole which is on top of the Air unit. Flipping the shoe to the bottom, you will see the classic Jordan 4 outsole. It is made out of a combination of semi-translucent rubber on the forefoot, safe colored rubber on the heel, and the toe and the Nike Air logo done in this mint color. As for sizing, I got this in 8.5 uh, men's sizing. I'm a 2 to size size 9, so uh, when I fit this, it still fits me. I think this is because this is not your standard Jordan 4 silhouette, which has um, full leather upper but I also bet that you can do uh, true to size on this one uh, but I, as I always mention if you have a chance to uh, fit uh, the same silhouette uh, I suggest that you do so so that you will be able to know if it's the right size for you and again since this is a women's exclusive shoe uh, if you boys are going to get this I suggest that you go or you get one and a half size up from your to the size so if you are a size 9 go for a size 10.5 women's on this shoe as for comfort it does feel like the other standard jordan 4 out there uh, which we all know that it is not very comfortable um, but uh, it is what it is to be quite frank I am not buying this because of its comfort but rather because of its style I really love how they uh, constructed this shoe so the quality and craftsmanship of this shoe is very obvious it's excellent I love how they constructed this shoe the upper of the shoe is very soft and very uh, premium and uh, the off-white branding can be seen all over the shoe itself I love how they incorporated the deconstructed vibe on the shoe and uh, it also comes with three extra laces in addition since that this is a cream colored sneaker it is very easy to pair up with any type of outfit so if you will ask me if this is a cup or a drop, uh, it is very obvious it is a cup for me. It is my favorite pickup of the year and also this is my uh, birthday kicks. So yeah, by the time uh, I upload this and if you're watching this, it's already my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So, um, I'm happy to have this pair in my collection. Um, although I paid the sale for this, it's okay. Um, it's okay to uh, treat yourself sometimes, right? So that's it for my episode today. I hope that you like this. And please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And again, my name is Carl, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace.